go. Hello everybody, it's Captain Kerb here back with another Yoshi Engine tutorial. It, this is episode 3 and in today's video we are going to be doing songs and weeks. So to start off, as you can see here, we are in the toolbox. Last time we took a look at doing the characters, uh, in which case we did a custom sprite made by Chazville YT and Cassette Girl from the Cassette Girl mod. So that's pretty cool and we'll be using them as we continue on in this tutorial series. Next up what we're going to do is we're going to go to the mod info tab so I can quickly outline what exactly this is. What the mod info tab is, is it's a, essentially a way to change your mod after you've already initially created it. It's pretty simple. All you do is you just change some kind of description or something, click save, and then it shows on here. I don't need to go too far into that. You also get your mod card overview, which you would see if you were to click on the mods mode uh, in normal, in the normal menu. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on the songs link or the songs tab and you are greeted by this menu very empty but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a song so we're gonna click add as you can see this uh, window popped up and we can start off by putting our song name this one we're gonna be doing is called curb it'll be with the curb sprite that we did the other day uh, the song display name I usually just leave blank as it is the same one and then you click the song instrumental to go and we're going to go to the mods for tutorials folder and as you can see I've loaded up the inst and voices for this song so all that we're going to do is we're going to click the inst for the instrumental we're going to click the vocals for the uh, voices section this song has three difficulties you can add more if you want by simply pressing comma and adding some kind of uh, difficulty this will show up at in charts and your free play character icon is the icon of the character, in which this case we'll be using the curve icon. You can also select the color of the background during your song, or uh, in the free play menu, my bad. And in this case we're going to be going with uh, my favorite color of blue, because blue is awesome. And then, uh, don't worry about the BPM, that's automatically set in your charts. All you have to do now, click create, and boom, look at that, our song's there. Now, if you click on the bubble that displays the song, you can see, there it is. And this is how it will appear in free play mode. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add the, a few more Cassette Girl songs before we move on to the weeks, so that I can show you guys how to properly add a week. So, I'm going to start off by looking through the Cassette Girl uh, mod to find which songs we're going to be adding. <coughs> And as you can see, we have Machina, Smoking, and Earworm. So we'll start off with Smoking. Grab the instrumental. Oops. Uh, grab the instrumental. That's Sonic.exe. There we go. Songs. Smoking. Instrumental. The vocals. Easy, normal, hard. And we'll change this, obviously, to set goal. Now we'll make this, uh, sure, that color works. And now as you can see, there it is. And we'll add a few more in, since, uh, we're here. And we'll start off with earworm. Uh, go out, go to the earworm, add in the inst, uh, add the voices, make sure that the difficulties are there, make sure that your character is set, girl, and for this we'll do a nice dark blue. Add that, and as you can see, boom, second song. Now we're going to add the last song. I do not know actually the... the <laughs> the mod itself, so I'm kind of just taking a guess here. Uh, we'll add Machina as the last one. And all that we're gonna do is go back, go to Machina, click the instrumental, click the voices, and make sure that our character is the cassette. Girl. For 
this one will make it a, pretty much a block. Looks good. And boom. Easy peasy. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to skip over the stages JSON as that'll be covered in the next tutorial. And we're going to head to the weeks. Once we get there, as you can see, we have a bunch of empty weeks. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and click create. We're going to name our week. So our first week that we're going to do is the curb week, in which we will have one song that is curb. Next you choose the button sprite. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, you need to actually go back to the uh, to your uh, actual engine file, and you need to go onto your mods. And for this, I'm going to be using some base F and F sprites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to images. I'm going to grab the story menu folder, and I'm going to click Control C to copy it. Go back to my mods. Go back to Cassette Girl. Go to images and click Control V to paste it. Now, as you can see, all of my sprites are in there, so I will use that week one icon for this button sprite. So this will be your button sprite. As you can see, it's now there. Just click that. Next, we need our character file, which I will also use another thing from the story menu, uh, being the dad character, because my character doesn't actually have a campaign menu one yet. You can also change the color of your background, but we'll worry about that a bit later. And we're going to use the... We're going to go actually into the XML of that and find the dad idol. And there it is. Grab that. Go back to the game. Click paste. Create. Now if we click this, we can see our... Uh, our name of our week shows up there. We can see that the tracks show up here, and we have this really weird looking Daddy Dearest. Uh, we want to fix him, obviously, so we can double click this, and now we can change his offset, and we can also change his scale down here. And all you do is you just mess around with him until you get the appropriate uh, looking menu screen. So I'll just kind of do this a little rough. And there we go. Now all you have to do is click Apply Changes and Update. And all you have to do now is just exit out. And there we go. We have our first week done. Next, we're going to create another week. We're going to call this one Cassette Girl. Since we're going to be featuring the character Cassette Girl in this week. And we're going to add in our three songs now. If you forget what songs you need to add, just simply go to your data and you can find all of your songs there. Uh, so we're gonna start off with Smoking. Smoking. Then we're gonna add Machina. Machina. And Earworm. And next we're gonna add in our Button Sprites, which we will find, I'll just use one of the base up that ones. We'll use Week 2. And for the character file, uh, there is actually one that I want to grab. Oh, there we go. And sometimes it takes a little bit to open up, but you can also use this to grab a character file, So, which I will use right now. So we'll go to the Cassette Girl mod, we'll go to Assets, and go to Images, we're going to go to the Menu, and we're going to grab the menu.cgsp. And simply... Oh! That does not work yet. I, I stand I stand corrected. We're going to actually drag it into the uh, images tab that I was showing you guys earlier. So just give me a second while I do that. And we're going to grab this one as well. Okay. There we go. And now we'll just go back to the game. Where we'll click images, story menu, find that cheese CGSP, go on to the XML of the CGSP, and find menu cassette bopping. Click copy, click paste, create. And now, when we go over, a little bit like there, there she is! So now we're going to fix her by double clicking and offsetting her according to what we need for the week. Let's move her up a little bit. And a little bit smaller. And up 
a bit more. Make her relax. There we go, and a little bit more. Yeah, I'd say that looks nice. Apply changes and updates. Wait for that to load, and boom. Look at how nice that looks. A little bit of a smooth uh, takeaway straight into her tracks, and that's it. Now we're going to change the background for this by clicking the background and selecting a color. For this one, we're going to be using a dark blue. Click OK, and watch as it changes into that nice dark blue. Now we are done with the weeks. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually exit the toolbox, and we're going to make sure that our weeks are working. Exit out of this menu, and go up to the story mode. Once we get to the story mode, you should see that our week 1 and week 2 actually work. As you can see, set girl, and there is Daddy Dearest. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make our songs work right now, because uh, that's just what we want to do. We want to make sure that our game is actually working. So I'm actually going to take the charts from these songs and add them into the different songs. So next, so first, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back to our mods cassette girl and we're going to want to click data and we're going to want to go onto curb first and then we're going to take the curb, uh, the, the three curb JSONs from my mods from, for tutorials. There they are. And not the XML, the easy, and the hard JSON, and these are your charts. Now we'll be covering these more and the chart editor more in episode 6, or my bad, episode 5, uh, but for now we'll just uh, wait. So player 2, we're, so we're going to want to click on the chart, and I'll kind of teach you how to read some chart JSON files. Basically they'll always have a player 1, player 2, GF, usually some ported from somewhere like Psych will have a um a stage uh there will also be song which we'll need to change to curb for all of these as that is our song we're also going to need to change player two to curb as well simply change those two things and we should be good to go as long as there's no events in a psych engine uh chart there it will work with yoshi engine but if there are events it will crash the game because engine or events in uh, Yoshi Engine and Psych work a little bit differently. So I'm going to go through all of these uh, charts and just very quickly change everything. Go down to the bottom here and change that. Now we're only going to do this with Curb for the actual tutorial because if you want to do this for Cassette Girl, you can do it. But I'm going to do it off camera and that way we'll have a work mod for our next tutorial. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the free play menu. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using this a lot. We're going to find curb and we're going to click it. And there we go. We have a working mod in the Friday Night Pumpkin Yoshi engine. As you can see, the whole song works, everything is great, and that's our that's our song. So with that, uh, next uh, tutorial we'll be talking about stages and applying custom stages into your songs, which will get a little bit more uh, coding involved, but until then, uh, that's it. See you guys!